everyone. Welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence asking forgiveness of my sins so my prayer can enter your throne. Father, you are so good to us and we glorify your holy name for that. I ask you, Lord, that you will be with us in this devotional. Help us to understand exactly what it is that you have for us to understand. Help us to discern your voice, to discern your spirit, Lord. Teach us. You are such of a personal God, and you have a message for each and every one of us. My message may not be somebody else's, and theirs may not be mine. But Lord, you are so personal, and you speak to us directly. So help us to discern what is your voice. Help us to understand what it is that you want us to understand. Help us to know how to apply it to our lives. Do not let this devotional fall on soil that will not hold that roots will not take hold, Lord, but help us to fall on fertile ground, ready to receive your word, ready for roots to grow deep so that we can withstand the sun, we can withstand the trials and the tribulations. These things I ask in your son's name. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional was titled, I Don't Want to Be Dead. It was written by Milagros Quintero and translated by Nelson Berries. Our biblical base comes from John chapter 10, verse 7 through 15. So says the word of God. When Jesus said to them again, Most assuredly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. But a hireling, he who is not the shepherd, one who does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees, and the wolf catches the sheep and scatters them. The hireling flees because he is a hireling and does not care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know my sheep, and I am known by my own. As the Father knows me, even so I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. I don't want to be dead. I want rivers of living water to flow through me. I want to live for Christ. Be light in the midst of so much darkness and reflect the tender love of the Father who promised to be with everyone who serves and adores him. I do not want to be dead. Without senses that do not allow me to recognize the goodness of the Lord, I want to hear his voice, to spread his word, and for others to be saved by him. I long to see his wonders and guide others to sublime truth, to try to touch his mantle, to receive healing as the woman with the flow of blood, and to witness his great power. I always want to savor his glory, the one that gives me so much peace. I want to smell the perfume that he allows me to shed every day in his presence. The day I die, may it be in his arms to be raised on the great triumphal day to reign with him for eternity. Those words of the master are also for us. Follow me and let the dead bury their own dead. I am the one who gives life to your bones, says the Lord, wisdom to the soul and joy to the heart. Amen. My brothers and sisters, may our prayer be that we be so alive and sensitive to the Holy Spirit, that we be the light in the midst of the darkness, that the love of the Heavenly Father flows through us to touch everyone that we meet. May all of our senses be honed in on the Holy Spirit, being sensitive to Him. May we live a life of holiness, a life that is mirrored after Jesus Christ himself. My brothers and sisters, may it be our prayer that we are so very alive in him that on that day that the trumpet sounds, we will be gathered together to live eternity with our Heavenly Father. Amen. 
May the Lord receive the honor and the glory.
Amen, what a beautiful song. And now we invite you to check out the YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children, now and forever. Amen.